Hello, my name is Sindhu and I'm a junior at Monta Vista High School in Cupertino, California. The project I'm currently working on is the Wi-Fi voice controlled robot. This week, I was able to get started on building the H-Bridge, which I'm holding up here. The H-Bridge involved components such as alligator clips, which use jumper wires to connect the pinholes to the copper tabs of the DC motors. Some challenges I faced in the process of inserting the wires to the H-Bridge were that the wire was too small to fit inside the pinholes, so I had to tighten the screws of the slot to make sure the wire stayed in place. Furthermore, I also used a battery pack, which I am holding up here, which had a red and a black wire, which connected to the ground and 12 volt respectively. Um, while fitting the wires into the H-Bridge, I quickly noticed that the wire was too thin to fit into the slot, so I had to manually strip the wire to ensure a tight fit. I also connected four male-headed wires, which I am holding up here, um, and a ground wire and a 5-volt wire, which connected from the H-Bridge to the Arduino. Once I figured out the wiring of the project, I moved on to the Arduino IDE. I began with initializing variables for the motors, which correspond directly to the numbering on the wires on the Arduino. I used the digital write function to allow the DC motors to take on various commands, such as moving forward, backward, left, right, and even stop. Once the battery pack is turned on, you can see the motors begin to follow commands such as moving forward, backward, left, right, and even to stop. As I mentioned before, some obstacles I faced were that the wires connected to the alligator clips were too thin and short to fit into the H-bridge. A solution I had was to manually strip the wires to expose more of the wire and making it easier to fit inside the slot. As I was able to get those motors to start working this week, I hope to be able to get start assembling on the robot body on the following weeks. Thank you so much.